Derek Carr got a big deal earlier this offseason to make him the highest paid player in NFL history. But BMAC, news just came out that someone else has that title now. Per ESPN's Adam Schefter, Matthew Stafford and the Lions have agreed to a five-year deal that is expected to make Stafford the highest paid player in the league. Sorry, Derek Carr. BMAC, <laughs> are the Lions right to make this commitment to Staff Stafford right now? Yeah, I don't have an issue with the commitment. I think he has been a pretty good quarterback especially the last three years he's had the best la best three years uh in his career under coach Cardwell who's currently still the head coach there and I don't see that changing anytime in the in the future and you look at what the market is for proving quarterbacks granted this is a guy that has yet to compete for championships this is a guy that has yet to win multiple playoff games but he's playing real good football and therefore based on where the market has been set the last two most recent quarterback contracts, Derek Carr, mm -hmm. and then Andrew Luck was before Carr, you have to put him in that category. And the argument will always be, he is not the best player in the game, so why should he be the highest player in the game? Yeah. It's about the market value. When you look at the timing of these deals, that plays a big time part. And for the Detroit Lions, outside of Matthew Stafford, who would you turn to? He had one more year left on this current contract that would pay him over $16 million. You look at Jake Rudock, Brad Kyer, no proven name at the quarterback position. If you don't have uh, stability at that position, you will not win ball games. So I don't have an issue with them making this commitment. I know the numbers could be a bit mind-blowing, but that is the going rate for a starting quarterback. So other guys like Aaron Rodgers, you know, Matt Ryan, these guys are applauding these deals because they are more proven commodities at that position. And you better believe they will e they will eventually eclipse this most recent contract. One cool nugget about Matthew Stafford. I did some research, look, looked up his most uh, recent contracts along with his past contracts from uh -huh. SpotTrack. This is a guy that has made over one hundred and ten million dollars before this Woo! newest deal. Dinners aren't Matthew Stafford. Over $110 <laughs> million. So you factor in, and we believe this will be a triple-digit contract. Yep. Clearly over $125 million if we're talking about him being the highest-paid player in the NFL. You factor that into what he's already made? Money, 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 money. money, money. money. Yep, uh, like you mentioned, great news for those uh, soon-to-be free agents as well. The, uh, the Lions open their season against the Cardinals on September 10th, so we'll see Matthew Stafford come out maybe a little bit in better shape from having to lug around those heavy pockets. <laughs>